Hello. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. Welcome back to this fun let's play. We this is surreal gaming here by the way, which I've like never said on any of these videos. Um Oh, we got a call from me again. <laughs> Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief. That white mist interrupted our signal. Hmm, you should have done some serious work there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? We can have dinner while we gaze at the ghost paintings. Tonight I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles and a diesel marinade. Oh yeah, Luigi's getting pumped for this dinner. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say? We put them through the old ghost portificationizer. Um, but yeah, just got back from dinner with my fam. <clears throat> had a nice... Uh, I forget what it's even called. I've never had it before, and... Shit. It was... It was like a Rue? No. It was like R-E-U... Something. It was a sandwich with cheese, corned beef, Russian dressing, grilled, uh, rye bread, and... Yeah, it was good. And they had amazing green beans. The green beans were out of this world, and I'm a huge green bean fan. I love them at Christmas, the green bean casseroles. They're always like at the top of my list. I think it's such an underrated side dish. Green bean casserole needs to be brought to the forefront of side dishes. Um, and just regular green beans in general are really good, but especially those. They buttered them, they were cooked so nicely, I guess. They're probably like really, really steamed. Um, and what else? They had some butter on them, and it tasted like they had some salt as well. And we just got a ton of money. <laughs> We're raking it in at 36000 And I'll save. <clears throat> Where will you go, Luigi? The mansion. Careful. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, so I decided I'd do a creepy voice for Egad at this point, because I just feel like he's a creepy dude, and he's just weird, I don't know. So we gotta go up to the rooftop, and this is probably one of my, one of my favorite parts in the game. Um, it's just really awesome, and it's not really original, it's basically in every single horror game. Same exact thing happens in Outlast. So sorry for spoilers if anyone is planning on playing Outlast. That's a fake door. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. Wow, it's weird. Um, but I'm sure it won't come as a surprise to you that the power is going to go out. I think I actually even told you guys that earlier. Um, but yeah, it's so cool. Because then I got to go fight my way through all these ghosts. Like, the ghosts are piling up. There's so much more of them. So many more of them. My bad. And you just got to work your way down, figure out how to get the power on. You gotta use your memory to figure out how to do this. And, uh... Oh, it's just cool. <laughs> like how he sh shriveled up in a ball. Cry me, what a calamity. The, ele the electricity has gone out. That lightning strike just now must have caused the blackout. I can't see anything in this blast of darkness. The ghosts will have their one of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. Oh, God, that actually scared me. 
All right. Not today. Um, I actually am just gonna let go because I think you should basically run through this whole part because there's an infinite amount of ghosts right now. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, he's bowling. The scary bowling ghost. Yeah, but those orange ones, they can really jump out at you. Especially in parts where you're not expecting any ghosts. Like, I didn't really realize there'd be any on the roof. I thought inside, definitely. But in the roof, I guess I just wasn't expecting it. Like there. I, they did, like, the same thing, but I was kind of expecting it. I don't know. And the orange ones, they just make that distinctive, kind of, like, loud... Out of the random normalness, scary noise. You might be encouraged to get these ghosts. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty positive that there's like an infinite amount of them. And uh, uh, if you don't know why I'm not going to the basement, it's because it's locked right now. I don't have the key. Which I did not realize the first time. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Um, so I went all the way down to the basement, had no clue what was going on. I actually don't even know. I think EGAD actually tells you that you should, that there's like extra paranormal activity in one sector in like the closet room or whatever, something. I don't think you're just supposed to blindly come to the conclusion that you go to this place. That is if you read the subtitles in this game, which I do not read many of them. But I mean, I don't really need to. It's not much of a story. Luigi just wins the lottery, gets this mansion. Mario goes over to check it out first. And... Gets there a bit before Luigi. Luigi gets there. Mario is missing, part two. And... Oh, maybe this is where this part's the blue. Yeah. Come on, blue. Let's see if I can get my favorite one, where he's really scared. He's like, Mario! Uh, I don't know, he seems pretty happy right now. Love that little jingle. Makes me feel happy that I... I'm accomplishing this stuff. I'll just keep saying Mario until I until I do it. So sorry if this annoys you guys. I wonder how many I can get at one time. I mean that was a lot. But I'd like I'd love to get like ten in one hit. That'd be so cool. Oh, and I found out watching a Let's Play that he just kind of slides down these stairs. <laughs> just kind of funny. Like, I'm not touching the buttons at all. He kind of just slides down. I actually do that sometimes in my house. Like, I'm bored and I'm doing nothing. I'll just be going down the stairs, like, pulling myself. Get that... Yeah, by the way... If you hear that noise in a hallway and see a golden rat scampering down the hall, that is basically your sign to go catch that rat. They have similar things in Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, um, except they're not nearly as cool, and you just have to flash them like with this overbeam charge. Like you power up your flashlight and like shoot it, the flashlight at them. They actually use that for a lot of things. Like, that's how 
you stun ghosts first of all, so you can get their hearts. And so, the power is on. Ooh, why do we have a boo down here? I could have swore I got it already. Um, then there's also like switches. I'm booby hatch. Booby hatch. Wow. And like, this is like one of the ones with way more health, as I was saying before. Um, it's very unfortunate that he just went off into that room because. Oh, wait. Do we get to go here this early? I guess maybe we do upstairs later. Alright, I'm gonna have to play through Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon after this. That was a fun game, but like I said before, I just... I feel like they did so many things wrong with it. In terms of like, it wasn't like a bad game, it was really good. It just goes to show how much more amazing this one is. Um, and most of the fun was taken out of it for me, simply because of it not being one immersive mansion. I thought the multiple mansions were cool, but I thought it would have been cooler if there wasn't mission... Like, if it wasn't mission-based, and if you could just traverse this, like, pathway to get from one mission to the next, and you had to, like, fight your way through the pathways too or something. Oh, I know who that is. He's cool. Unless I'm thinking of someone else. Um It is Fair Eye Budapris. No. Oh, there's two in here. Oh wait no, I guess the other one's up there. Come on. This one's locked, yeah. Didn't I get the key for that one? No, I guess it's... Wait, no. The boot came through this wall. He should be right in here. I guess maybe he's in one of these rooms. It took too long to get to him or something. Are you... Where's my key? Oh, up there? I could have swore... It said I had a key for down here. Okay, whatever. I don't, I don't care. Um, we'll just do this, because it's cool. White gloves, a cute little mustache, soft shoes. How'd you get out of my... Huh? Wait just a second, your clothes are green. Hey, you must be... Luigi, whoa, you had me a bit confused for a moment there. Don't. What? You want to get me to release Mario, right? No, no, no. I will not give up my favorite decoration. I like Mario just where he is. Ah, uh, my voice cannot take that voice, I'm sorry. Hey, so what's that you got there? A Poltergeist 3000? Uh-oh. What should we do, booze? Good idea, guys. All booms in the air. Gather your strength. We'll blow them away. We'll take a big boom breath. And we'll blow them away. Alright. So let's go upstairs. Yeah, maybe I'll just do King Boo's voice as a jingle like that. Uh, instead, since I can't really... My voice gets... I, I mean, I'm doing it raspy purposely. I can, I can get like a pretty low voice, but that's straight up just being raspy. Rap city. Rap city. I wonder if I can burn that down, cause I, maybe it would open up and actually show a door there. I don't know. I feel like I definitely can.
but we'll see. Um, I feel like it definitely would have burnt by now. Yep, no, I think that's it. <laughs> I love the transition to the um I think this game's so perfect for Luigi. Like if this was a Mario's mansion, I just it wouldn't have worked. Is this right? No. Like I love how Mar Luigi just scaredly like hums along to the music. I need to remember to bring water up here so I can water on these plants. Um, anyway. Yeah, I love how he scaredly, like, hums along to all the music. And... I love how he's kind of clumsy, like, in his movements, too. And how he's scared. Like, Mario wouldn't be scared right now. That's the thing. That's why... I feel like it wouldn't be as fun. It wouldn't be as funny... I actually think those bone guys look really cool. I mean, they're not, not the most difficult fights, and they're not the they're not the most insanely designed. enemies, but I just think that they look really cool, and I like how they come out deassembled, and then they assemble. I, just, I like it a lot. I think it's a neat little extra touch. Like I said earlier in video one, the nice little touch that Nintendo adds to every game. They really do. They nail games. They get them so perfectly, I feel like. Oh, here we go, here we go. 300 boomerang. Ah, hilarious. Come on, come on. Gah, come on. Literally. No, no, you better not. You, God. God. Ugh. I think this is just treasure. Yep. But treasure's always Q. Oh, Luigi's just carrying around like 23 golden blocks. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, this room. I used to die in this room so much. Let's see if we can get this, because uh, if I can't, I'll feel like a failure. I probably should go around. I don't even know if I have to get this one. I assume I do, though. This room's probably one of the creepiest as well. Alright. Yeah, sometimes I'll just specifically let go so they don't shoot me, because getting shot hurts, and I don't want to lose health. If I just get one of these guys, which I'll probably get this green guy first. Yep, I got him. Uh, makes the rest so much easier. Alright. Wow, I might actually come in out of this unscathed. I can't believe I used to die at this part as a kid. This is like so easy. I was actually kind of worried I'd die in the Let's Play and I literally took one damage and that was when I chose to let go of the R button. Not too bad, not too shabby. Oh, I sucked up his uh... 
little twisty thing. Oh, perfect placement too. Jeez. Time for the six o'clock blues. Ha ha. As in the music type. No. I'm assuming he's in here, so I'm just gonna go in here. Yep. No. Why'd you go down? No, no, no! Don't bump into me. You don't do that. No! I mostly got you, so you should just come with me, little girl. No, 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 no! I'm preventing you from leaving. Yes. I'd rather have him in here than the other room, or the hallway, so... Kind of like a plus. Oh, no! Oh, mm. Still got a lot out of him, though. Got like 30 in a second. God! I hate how much they run away. They like scaring people, yet they run away all the time. That's like the first chance they get. All right, let's see what traps he's laying for us. And what's in this? Just a couple coins. If there's another boo in here, that'd be kind of impressive. Nope, there's not. All right, time to go up. Oh, is this like the roof roof? Yeah, this is the roof roof. This part's cool. They have like a little bonfire going up here. It's kind of a weird camera angle. Well, alright, now it's better. I didn't really like the camera angle for a little bit. Ah, I'm thirsty. Should've gotten a drink. Figured I'd be fine though. I, at dinner, which I just ate like a little bit ago, I had like four glasses of water. It kept filling me up. They were really good service. It was a uh, TJ Smith's. I don't know if you guys have any of those anywhere. Um, but yeah, that was where I got this legendary meal. Is that it? There's gotta be more, right? Right? Actually, let's see what's up here. Okay, not this one then. I don't know if there actually even are lights up here. I don't think this place ever lights up. So I shouldn't... Oh, wait. Alright, nice. Double whammy. Oh, wait. No, I didn't get the second one. I just stunned him. There we go. I think it's a great concept. Having, like... It need to expose their hearts. I knew something was up there. Alright, cool. Of course I went over there and took the time to climb up before the chest was there. Nice key. Those are always important. And then I believe it's on the other chimney. Where we can get a secret room or whatever. Maybe it's not secret. Maybe we have to go through it anyway. But either way, I always go through it. I don't know. Maybe that's if I'm thinking of the wrong thing. No, I'm definitely thinking of the right thing. A little plank there for us to walk. Oh, yep. Nice. Golden room. Lots of money. I think this is the room with the boarded up door. Let me see where we are. Yep, this is the room with the boarded up door. Yeah, there's the, the boards right there. That's cool. So it's not just an empty piece of space of nothingness, which is what it looked like since so that there was no doors leading into this area. How do I get up? Oh, the stairs. Of course.
Oh jeez, that unleashed the horde. Must have been planning that for hours. God. Not funny, dude. Alright, sick. This guy's one with the most health. Alright, cool. And I'm getting this guy, no problem. Ah. I need to turn my flashlight off. I never actually flashed him. Oh, what? He already hit the ground multiple seconds ago. It wasn't still vibrating. Alright. I think some people can be hard, actually. Like, can't be too long and it can't be too short of a stun period. Slightly annoying, but, uh, I guess it's just something you gotta get used to. Is that the only way out? This thing? Yeah, I think that's the only way out. Let's see. Oh! Well, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Please don't disappear, money. Please don't disappear. There we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, and a chest. Good thing I made sure to clean up the whole room. I was actually thinking about just leaving. Let's see what he says about this. It's a picture, but I wouldn't call it art. It's the same thing you said about that guy with the huge nose. You don't have many different thoughts, Luigi. You're not. You don't have many different types of programming. Um, did I miss any chess? Doesn't look that way. I like how low my head is in the mirror. How small the Italian is. Oh, I gotta go. Probably all the way upstairs. Ah! Wow, I have two different keys I could use right now. Where is that? Is that... Where? Oh! Oh, I went that way. Okay. Well, I guess we'll hit that spot anyway, since we gotta go up there to get to the room even more above it. Um, so we'll check the scene, see what's see what's going on. Um, except that I might end the video before I go in, since I'm running low on time. I wasn't planning to make more than this many videos today, but whatever. Actually, I'll go in this room, clear it out, and then I think I'll end it. So I don't... So I don't have to do more than I was planning on. Because, uh... You wouldn't believe how tiring this stuff is. Like, this is my first one ever, so I really had no idea what to expect. First of all, it's really weird, uh, talking to yourself. But it's also really tiring, like my voice gets tired after a while, and my mind, uh, I don't know, you kind of like, I guess you start to feel like you're going insane, because literally you're talking to yourself for hours. Um... Oh, take that water. Oh, yeah, take it. Wow, that water, brother. Five health. Sick. More convenient boo placements. I am boo via. I hate you. No, no, I don't want that. Stop forcing myself on the tablecloth. There we go. What else is in here? I guess I should probably get this boo before I 
deep heart. Let's see. Let's see. No, oh, God. No, no, not the couch. All right. Yes. There we go. There we go. Delish. Tip top, Luigi. You remind me of myself at your age. Okay, now send me the boo and all the data you've got. Save. The game was saved. Be careful, Luigi. I will be. Because I am going away. I'll see you guys next video in Let's Play Luigi's Mansion Part 7. And it's probably going to be one of the last videos. I mean, like I said, it's a short game. It's probably going to be like 10 videos in this whole series. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. And we're getting close, dude.